in the driver selection, the important bit is we need to get this home position here. Home type needs to be on plate. By default, it's on user defined and it puts it on zero. If that goes onto plate, then we can go into preferences. And on things like Woodtrons, we need to get short file names. So we need to have um, file name. Include lay name can now be off. Um, you can control the the what puts it, gets put on the end of the file when it flips. I put on flip because it uses any in our merging program. It uses the word flip. It looks for flip. So so I'll flip in there. Include lay name is now offset those short file names. You can have it on if you like. It works either way. Now in we go into here into the ATP. We can load our parts. For an example, this is just this drop here. It's one door. Uh, our map file is set up so everything's on flip face apart from the hinges. So the only ones that are on, not on flip face. We have our open contour right set to the depth of the board. You need to specify the full depth there. Material setup automatically. I've got 5mm, 5mm. Um, always in vertical, so it actually flips long ways, like front to back. Um, depends where your where your pins are on where this is on the which one this machine the wood the pins at the, at the back left, so we're cutting the bottom left so we can flip it over and line, line pins up. On the um, Texel, for example, exact opposite the pins are at the front left, so I'll put that at the top left on the on the Texel. So it depends on where the pins are. You need to um, cut the datum, then flip it over and put it against the pins. Then you can just hit the process button. Uh, name it and hit the process button and everything will work. The last thing I want to show you is in the six space machining. So if I just go to here, go to D drive, the sixth face, I have this set up here, the text file that I'm running, um, settings up any. So this one here is set up. So what I've done in here is to specify the output path, specify where the ease nest is. This is what it's looking for. It's looking for star dot underscore flip. So it always puts an underscore flip and doesn't care what the front of the file is. So it's looking for that file. Then it will, and what we've done, remove the first three lines of the header. We're removing the last three lines of the footer and we're adding in, this is what we're adding in for a Woodtron. So we're going M61 vacuum off. Sorry, close that. Uh, we're sending vacuum off and you put a pipe. Well, that's the big line, it's called a pipe. Then we're going M81 stops up. Then we're going M0, which actually stop, pauses the machine and I'll put a note on there flip sheet, press green button. Um, once you do that, it'll then say, so remove the last three lines, remove the first three lines of the first two files, of those two files, add that between it. So it actually, literally, vacuum off, stops up, pause the machine, you can flip the board over, put it in stops, hit the green button and everything takes off again. So that's uh, quite easy to do, that's all working. Because um, it does turn the vacuum back on and the pin that spins down at the start of the next file, so that's correct. Um, you need to have values in all these. So has blocks, yes. Prefix has an N on it. Block instrument goes ones or tens. Um, keep backup, false. So we don't want to keep backups at the moment because otherwise it just fills your hard drive. That is all you need to do to run six-face machine.